your legal victory, ma'am, what does this mean to the thousands of drug war victims and drug war victims in general who were jailed and are still languishing in jail right now? Well, as I've been saying also, actually, I will not stop working also for the attainment of justice by the thousands killed in Duterte's murderous fake drug war. Yeah. Now, I was a victim and then thousands were killed. They are victims, and I've been fighting for them. That's, that's, that's my, uh, my, my foremost cause, justice, for the victims of EJ case. Now, with my victory, then I can now have the time and the focus to really work on this uh, uh, matter that whether it's with the ICC or whatever else would be the uh, domestic steps that will be taken, if at all that there would be such domestic, other domestic initiatives that would be undertaken by local authorities to uh, seek justice for those uh, victims. So, mas may oras na ako, yeah. mas makaka-focus na ako. Yeah. And, and I've been saying also that uh, in fact, mas priority ko nga yan eh, kaysa yung sa sarili ko. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll try as much as possible that I would same, simultaneously work on yeah. you know, justice for myself, yung vindication ko, dun sa mga nag-persecute sa akin, mm -hmm. and then justice for the thousand, thousands killed yeah. under the Duterte's war on drugs. And then by, by assisting the ICC, you meant that you are willing to share your you know, probes way back or any yes. documents that you have? Yes, the records and then my, my knowledge yeah. um, because I, I uh, spearheaded those investigations.